Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a video on the Temchu AirPod. It's not a professional airbrush device. It's an at-home airbrush device for people like me, people that do their makeup at home. And I'm very happy to show you what I think of it and how it works. Enjoy. So for this video, I'm gonna put my hair out of my face. I'm gonna start out and just do my whole makeup with it. So I've got a foundation here and this is the device, the Temptu device. It just comes open like that. There's no cover for it. And this is one of the little pods. There's a bronzer, there's a blush. That's just what they look like. When they're new, they come with a little plastic thing over the top which you take off. This one's been used and that's what it looks like. It's really easy, you just click that off. Then right here, there is a little rubber stopper which you have to take out first. And it just kind of sits there. And then you just click it right in, it's really easy. Um, and then you turn it on. You have to charge it, it comes with a little wall charger. It didn't take that long, maybe like an hour or two. It has three different settings and you just change those by pressing it once. So the first one is for detail work, spot correction. Number two is for foundation, blush and bronzer. Number three is for highlighter and larger areas like the body. And you can immediately start to feel the air coming out. Feel it? It has this little flick here which you just kind of finger and stuff comes out. I'm just going to start with one half of my face and show you the comparison. I'll put on number two. Should I do my right hand side? Yeah, I'll do my right hand side because this has a blemish here. So you meant to do it in little circular motions. So let's just practice that for a second. And then you can start to slowly press down. I usually end up pressing all the way down. Can you see it? It's really difficult to keep the circular motion going because my hand kind of spasms and then I've got to like switch ways. But it says to not do linear strokes. It's very time consuming, that's for sure. But it's fun and it does have a pretty nice result. I don't think it would ever replace like my other foundations, but yeah. Okay, off. Press and hold it to turn off. Okay, it took a really long time to do. It's kind of patchy and it looks a bit shiny at the moment. I'm just gonna pat it out with a diffusing brush. Okay, if you just look at this white sheet of paper, I'm gonna show you how it applies. Somewhere here. Oh, wait, turn it on. Hopefully you can see the speckles. Okay, I don't think I can bring this thing much closer to the camera, but hopefully you can see how it doesn't actually apply smooth. There's definitely little speckles on there that you can't see when I'm putting it on my skin, but you can see on this white piece of paper. So it's definitely really disappointing, but to be honest, it's not going to stop me from using it. If you're already spending the time to apply it, then I don't mind just dabbing over it personally, but I do agree that for the price, like it really shouldn't be happening. Other side. took a long time. Damn. And look, I wanted to see if anything was even coming out because sometimes it feels like it's taking so long and look how speckled that is. So yeah, you take it out and you stick the little stopper back in and then you can put the lid on just like that. It's really easy to do all that stuff to be honest. Okay, now onto bronzer. This is the bronzer. It's got like a small amount of shimmer in it and then I'm just gonna repeat that but only apply it to where I would want bronzer. That was fast. Just gonna pat over it lightly. The bronzer was a lot easier to use and I think it came out a bit better. Let me see if it's actually speckled when I... The bronzer actually comes out a little bit more even than the foundation. Interesting. The other thing that they have is blush and highlighter. This is the highlighter, it's really pretty but there's some kind of default on this one and none of the caps fit on. 
they always come off no matter which one um, so there's something wrong with this one and I can't seem to figure out what it could possibly be anyway let's try highlighter I'm gonna put it on number one for the highlighter because this product wait I think I was meant to put it on number three no I find that this kind of goes everywhere so let's just try it on one can't see shit Nope. Is anything coming out at all? This one's just stopped working. Lame. That one's just completely stopped working. I can't get anything to come out. But, I mean, to be honest, this one was really shitty. It's called number 301 Champagne and the glitter just goes psh and just jizzes all over your face. Literally none of it is coming out and that's bullshit because these are not cheap. Now, I have three different blushes. One that is very shimmery like a highlighter and then two creamy ones. Let's try this one. This one is called Soft Peach. Okay, I'm just gonna practice some circles and then I'll apply. Ooh, it's really hard to do when you're near your eye because your eye doesn't want to be open when there's like <laughs> air rushing into it. I mean that just looks wet. Hmm. Even when I push and hold it to my hand, like it's a very gel, jelly kind of look. It's not very pigmented. Still looks all right, I guess. Okay, let's try Sunset Glow. And as you might be able to see better from in there, it's a really pretty shimmery pink peach. Okay, let's try this one as a highlighter. Can literally feel that coming out this time. Woo, that's pretty. Check it on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, you can see that. It's really nice. I'm going to try the other blush just to see if it works. So when it's new, you just take off the plastic part. Okay, let's try this one again. Oh. Whoa. I don't know if you can see that, but that one just came out way too, too strong. <coughs> Damn, I stuffed up on that one. The color's a bit more visible, that one. And that's the extent of my makeup that I can do with this because they don't do eyeshadows and that kind of thing and I don't think you'd want to. So I think it does look nice. And I did wear it to an event, my friend's engagement party, and it stayed, uh, it stayed really well. Not like particularly longer than a normal foundation, but it stayed without primer, which was pretty cool. Now I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup, like just put some eyebrows on and some lip product. As you can see, the foundation covered that spot quite well, and this one, it would probably still need concealer, and I probably could have got it to be covered if I kept going. Actually, let's try that. Okay, we're just gonna try concealing. So you put the foundation on and put it on number one. Nothing's happening. Damn, this is time consuming. Barely anything's happening. Let's try number two. That got rid of it. That mostly got rid of that one. Okay. I guess what pisses me off is this doesn't work the way that it kind of says it's meant to. It's still very fun and I will keep using it obviously because I spent like so much money on it. Uh, the spot concealing doesn't work so you have to do the spot concealing on number two. The blush isn't as pigmented as I would like and it kind of comes out watery. The foundation comes out speckled and I have to blend it later anyway which kind of defeats the purpose of the airbrush effect and of course one of the pods is faulty. Also don't like how the shape of the product makes it really difficult to store. I just don't really know what to do with all these pods and right now I've just got them sitting in here. This is okay because it has a stand but there's not really any way for me to organize my pods. 
whatever. But what I do like about it is that once you're done with everything, the effect is quite nice. I do actually think this would be a good tool for makeup artists to invest in because it's very sanitary and hygienic. So you're not touching the skin with anything. Um, and I think it would be a fun experience for the client. I think that they would like it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about money. Let me search up how much I paid for this because I bought this quite a while ago. So I ordered off the temp website and I had to order it to the United States. I sent it to my manager in the United States. So I bought the starter kit and that contains three pods and the device. So that was $305 and then I bought a trio of foundation, blush and highlighter and that's $90. And then this here is the bronzer and the fake tanner because there's a fake tan for your face that you can do as well, which is not makeup, you apply it, you know, first. And that was $64. So in total, including tax, I paid $500.32. Holy shit, it's a lot of money. Damn. You can also buy the little pods separately and you can buy everything separately. So the airbrush device itself, oh, this is in Australian dollars because I'm on my account here, but in Australia, the actual device is $260 and the individual pods range from $39 to about $58. So the price ranges a little bit depending on the actual product. Um, but there you go, there you have it. Do I recommend it? No, I don't recommend it. Unless you're an absolute beauty junkie and you desperately want to try it. It was definitely fun. I'm glad I've got it in my collection. It is the third time I've worn it now. Like I did it the first time I filmed and then I wore it again because I just thought it was quite fun to apply. Um, and now I've done it again for this video and I definitely think I will use it again. Not just because I spent a lot of money on it and I don't want to feel like that money is wasted. But it's, it's fun, that's for sure. And the result is good. It just kind of sucks that it doesn't really perform exactly the way that I had hoped. Let's get up nice and close so you can see my face. I do think it looks really nice. My fiance complimented me on my skin when I wore this. And it looked really good in photos as well. That was the other thing. It did look good in photos, no flashback. Um, and without primer, that's quite impressive to have good wear and no flashback. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and let me know if you will try this product. Bye guys.